Hello friends, welcome to my channel and today let's solve Act 2, Scene 3 of Julius Caesar of Class 9 from Morning Star Workbook. So here mostly I'll discuss about the assignments given in the workbook. So let's begin. So here are the assignments, multiple choice questions. So the first one. Which of the following issues was raised by Atimidrus in his letter? Here option A is correct. Caesar's impending death. Second, according to Atimidrus, Caesar may survive if fates do not ally with the conspirators. So here option B is correct. Number three, how does this scene create suspense in the audience? by letting them know that the conspirators plan has leaked out so here option d is correct number four atimindrus is a representative of which of the following here option a is correct common citizens of rome number five atimindrus describes the conspirators as envious usurpers so here option c is correct Number six, there is but one mind in all these men. Who are these men? Here option A is correct. Conspirators against Caesar. Number seven, why does Atimindrus heart lament? Here option D is correct. The danger to Caesar's life from jealous rivals. Number eight, according to Atimindrus, what gives way to conspiracy? Here option B is correct, overconfidence. Next we have contextual questions. So here few extracts are given there followed by some questions. So let's solve it. So the first extract, you read the extract, let me provide you the solutions. So the first question is, at what occasion does Atimidurus say these words? Atimidurus is a symbolic individual. Whom does he symbolize in this scene? So the answer could be a single figure. Atimidurus comes on the stage and reads out a letter he intends giving to Caesar as he passes on the way to the capital. Atimidurus represents honest common citizens voicing his concern for the safety of Caesar. Second, there is but one mind in all these men. What kind of a mind do the conspirators have? What is the difference in motives for conspiracy between Cassius and Brutus? So the answer could be, the conspirators have only one intention in their mind to kill Caesar. The difference in motives for conspiracy between Cassius and Brutus is Cassius is worldly, wise and a shrewd intriguer. He is self-centered, cunning and envious. His reasons are personal but he gives a patriotic coloring to the conspiracy. He knows that Brutus is noble and is held high in esteem by the people. He exploits Brutus's love for his country as well as for freedom. In every matter, Brutus overrules him, but time proves him right and Brutus wrong. Question number three, why are all the conspirators against Caesar? How would the request, look about you, be significant at this time? So the answer could be, all the conspirators are against Caesar because they fear that Caesar has become too powerful. The request look about you refers as to look around Caesar. Caesar is surrounded by conspirators. Number four, what is meant by security gives way to conspiracy? Security gives way to cons conspiracy means if a man feels secure, his enemies are sure to utilize this overconfidence to gravely harm the man. Number five, 
Besides Artemidorus, who else had warned Caesar about the danger to his life? What was the warning and how did Caesar react to the warning? So the answer could be, besides Artemidorus, soothsayer in Act 1, Scene 2, had warned Caesar about the danger to his life. The warning was, beware of the Ides of March 15th. Caesar reacted to the warning as a daydreamer and he ignored and dismisses him. And if you think the video is helpful to you, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video.